So how do we do a reflection across the i-axis? You have a single point right here, point i, and we know that the x-axis is running right here. So the first thing you do is pay attention to what the line of reflection is, and, and they're going to tell you what it is when they ask you to reflect something. And so um, for me, I'm just going to snap that highlighter spot over the x-axis so I'll remember that's what my a line of reflection is. And then uh, the next thing is, is how far away is the point that you're trying to reflect away from that line of reflection? And you can see right here that we are about one box away, one unit away from that line of reflection. So simply go on the other side of the line of reflection, the same distance, that one unit away there, see, and snap a point there and call it your prime, I prime, and we're done. So um, reflection across the y-axis, um, what do you do when the point's actually on that line of reflection? Okay, well, how far away is in from the line of reflection? Since it's touching, you don't worry about how far away because it's basically zero. So just go ahead and label it on the other side, and the n and n prime are going to share that point right there. And uh, that's how we handle that situation when the point is literally on that line of reflection. What about a reflection across the y-axis on a, a full shape, not just a point? Well, go ahead and in and, and your head at least, make sure that you've marked that line of reflection. And then we're going to reflect all three uh, corners of that object uh, to create the new prime points and redraw it. So um, let's see here, how, how far is u from the y-axis? Looks like it's about three away. So we'll go on the other side of the axis here, and we'll go 3 on this side to get our u prime. And then what's happening with the t, it's about 4 away, so we'll go 4 on the other side of the line of reflection. And what about v? It's actually right on the line. So since it's on that line of reflection, we'll just go ahead and put the dot right there where it is already and call that v prime. Now, this can cause some issues a little bit later on, so pay attention. Look at your original shape. Um, you can see that the v goes to u, so v prime should go to u prime. And see that u goes to t right here? Well, that means that u prime should go to t prime right here. Okay, and that helps you be able to find the shapes. Let's do the very last one. This one gets a little bit trickier too. Um, we're reflecting across the x-axis. So what do we do here? The h is right there on it, so we'll call that h prime. The, the i is one above, so we'll go one below and call that i prime. And the j over here, the j is about three below, so we'll go three above and call that j prime. And uh, now we just got to connect the, the dots together. Now, I'm, I noticed that on the original, um, h is to i, right? So I'm going to go h to i prime. Um, I noticed that the i and j on the original are together, so I'm going to put i prime and j prime together, and then the last side just kind of closes up there.